Hi everybody, welcome back. Today it is time for update number two in the Mini Madness Rolling Project Pan that I'm doing with the wonderful ladies at the Pantastic Ladies Facebook community. Down below in that description box, you will find not only a link to the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group page, but also a link to all of the other ladies that are participating in this fun mini madness rolling pan project. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So products that are still in the lineup I have not gotten through yet. The Hourglass Seamless Foundation Vanishing Stick. I have got to get this thing used. Spring is upon us. My skin color is going to change and I'm afraid this one's going to be too light then. So I really really have got to put in some effort to get this one used. My Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. We're still up here, so I haven't yet been able to mark it. Again, I don't use a whole lot. I only use it right here where I have visible pores. So it is gonna take a while to get through, but we, I use this all the time, so we are definitely making progress. <laughs> one that I can report some progress on, and I'm pretty happy about that, it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I have been wear testing a lot of matte foundations, so I've really been putting this one to good use. We are about down to right here. I know it's gonna be really hard to see that teeny tiny mark from here, but I would say we are definitely at the halfway point. So this is just about done. Next little product up, this was replaced last month because product was used. It is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. I had to figure out really kind of how to use this and I have found a way to use it and I really do enjoy it for that. I like to spray this on when I'm done applying all of my powder products. It kind of helps settle those down and leave my skin looking a little bit more luminous and not so flat. So I am really kind of enjoying this. We're probably, it's kind of hard to see through the bottle because it's this really dark purple shade, but I'd say I've used probably about a quarter of this. We got about three quarters of the left to go. My two eyeliners. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyeliner in M10 Black. And this is the Sephora Gel Eyes Contour 12 Hour Waterproof Pencil in the shade Love Affair. I have sharpened them both once. <laughs> I really don't ever line my waterline because I have a lot of eye allergies. My eyes are very weepy. And so it would just, you know, it looked like I was raccoon crying all day long. But I do kind of like to use it on the upper lash line. I'm trying to get more into tight lining. It's not something I'm really ever do, but I love the effect that it gives. So hopefully we'll get some more good use out of these. Like I said, I did sharpen them once. That's progress. Next up, I, I don't know if this is regenerating itself or what's going on here. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow shade number four. There is still product in here. I, I don't understand. Like I, I, at first I was like, well, I'm kind of scraping it from the sides. Well, I think I scraped it all from the sides and put it back into the container. This thing is still like every time I come in and out, it is still loaded with product. I still kind of have to clean it off just a little bit before I use it. I have had this tiny sample for months and I have used it exclusively <laughs> and I can't get through it. So again, I really have no clue how much is in there. But hopefully we will actually see an end to this at the end of this project in December. But I will have to say this. Save your money. Buy the tiny one. And the last of my products that are kind of still in the rotation this month. This is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick. It is in the shade Set Sail. I didn't measure this, but I probably should have because this I've really used. We've definitely, it's way tinier than it used to be. Again, I'm keeping this one in my purse because this is kind of a go-to my lips but better shade. So when I'm out and about and if I've worn my lipstick off or something, I can throw this on, especially like when I'm at work. That's when I tend to use this one the most. So definitely getting use out of it. I definitely can see an end in sight with this, but I really do like this. So two products I finished this past month. So excited. First up is the First Aid Beauty Skin Facial Skin Cleanser. And the next thing I finished up, the Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I scraped out every last little bit of goodness of this. And since this is a rolling pan, once you finish one, you roll one in. So now I've rolled in two new ones. The Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. And that is now in the rotation. I am enjoying this. 
I have used it a couple of times, so there is a little bit gone, but really not enough for me to start measuring it yet. And I also rolled in the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. I really need to throw this in here so that I use it. And so that's it. That is update number two on the Mini Madness Project Rolling Pan with the Fantastic Ladies of Facebook. Again, make sure you definitely open up that description box down below. Check out the Facebook page if you're interested in joining this wonderful group. Also, make sure you check out that link so that you can see all the other ladies panning projects and see what they've got going on. Once again, I of course want to thank you as I always do for spending a little bit of your time with me today. It truly does mean a lot to me and I truly do appreciate it. Make sure of course though that before you leave that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. I of course will see you all next time. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah.